Welcome to the National Science and Math Quiz. Today's contest, the second in the quarterfinals, is between Keta Senior High School and St. Augustine's College, Cape Coast. Before we meet the contestants, let's take a message from our sponsors. Government, through an act of parliament, set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there's not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two, three projects going. All the seven public universities, ten polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. Keta Senior High School is on my left and is represented by... Form 3. You are welcome. On my right, we have St. Augustine's College represented by. Contest as usual will come to you in five rounds. The first round is our round for fundamental concepts. The questions in this round are very simple and will test your knowledge of basic principles in science and mathematics. If you answer your question correctly, it's worth three points. A wrongly answered question is passed on for a bonus point. Good luck. Let's begin with St. Augustine's College. Please answer this in one attempt. What is the phase angle between an alternating voltage and current flowing in a purely resistive circuit? Yes, Percy? Zero degrees. Zero degrees. <laughs> Keta Senior High, your question to be answered in one attempt. What is the phase angle between an alternating voltage and current flowing in a purely inductive circuit? Yes, the lally. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. <laughs> the next pair of questions are also to be answered in one attempt. Please give the product or products formed. When nitrogen 4 oxide reacts with water, Rufus? It, it forms uh, nitric acid and oxygen gas. That's incorrect, and so for a bonus. Yes, Ernest? HNO3 and HNO2. That's correct. <laughs> expected product or products when silica SiO2 reacts with sodium hydroxide solution. Yes, yeah, you raise your hand up. Sodium silicate and water. I will give you one out of one out of three. I I gave you partial credit because I was expecting you to be more specific about your answer. The water is fine, but I wanted to hear sodium trioxosilicate 4 or Na2SiO3. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have to be more specific because there are other types of silicates that are possible. St. Augustine's, where exactly do the malphigian tubules of the of insects empty their contents? Where exactly? Yes, Rufus. They empty it into the mid gut. Into the small intestine, that's the mid gut of the insect. No, I'm passing it on for a bonus. Yes, Ernest. In the ileum. 
No, no. They empty at the junction between the mid-gut and the hind-gut. So not into the mid-gut, mid but the junction between the mid-gut and the hind-gut. All right. Your own question, Keta. Where exactly is the osme osmeterium of the caterpillar located? Osmeterium. One attempt. Here's the lali. On the first thoracic segment of the caterpillar. <laughs> Two out of three. <laughs> yes, it's the first thoracic segment, but on the dorsal surface of it. In the base six number system, find the product. Three, four, multiplied by one, two. Yes, sir, uh, Rufus. Four, four, two. Try again. Yes, sir, uh, Gilbert. Four, five, two, basic. Yes, that's right. In the base three number system, evaluate. One, one, two, plus one, zero, one, minus two, one, two. Yes, the Lali. Two. Try again. Yes, Ernest. Zero, one, one. Last chance, uh, Yaira. One. One is right. <laughs> St. Augustine's College, please fill in the blank. When the heat engine is run in reverse, it operates as a blank. Yes, Percy. As a refrigerator or a heat pump. Well, you had one attempt for a bonus. Yes, the lolly. Heat pump. A heat pump. <laughs> what is a neutral point in a magnetic field? Yes, Ernest. It is a point in the, in the magnetic field where the resultant fl flux density is zero. Yes. <laughs> Your own question, St. Augustine's College. What is a coleoptile? Yes, uh, Rufus. It's a protective sheet. That, that covers the plume of, of uh, grasses or of, of an embryo. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Keta, what is a layer? -E -E. A-L-E-U-R-O-N-E. Yes, Ernest. The aleron layer is a layer in the seed of grains which store proteins and also carbohydrates. Okay, I'll give you the map. <laughs> Find the greatest common divisor of the numbers 54, 63, and 36. Yes, Percy. Nine. Nine is right. <laughs> Find the least common multiple of the numbers 72, 96, and 144. Yes, the Lali. Three. Try again. Yes, Yara. 288. Eight. That's correct. <laughs> That's the end of the first round. Government, through an act of parliament, set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, GET Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there's not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two or three projects going. All the seven public universities, ten polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the first round, the scores are St. Augustine's College 14 points, Keta Senior High School 20 points.
Let's find out what happens in the second round. Round two is a round for applied science. The questions in this round are more applied in nature. We'd like to find out how well you apply simple principles like the ones we saw in the first round to understanding and explaining certain everyday situations. Okay? When you get your question, you have 30 seconds if calculations are involved and 15 seconds if there are no calculations involved. A correctly answered question fetches three points. A wrongly answered question is passed on for a bonus. And partial credit is very possible in this round for partially answered questions. Good luck. Let's begin with Keta Senior High. Find the next two terms in the sequence. Negative 5, 0, 7, 16, Yes, the lally. 27 and 40. Yes, that's right. Find the next two terms in the sequence. 5, 7, 11, 19. Yes, Percy. 35 and 67. That's right. Please explain why some street lamps give off yellowish illumination while others give off blue-white illumination. Yes, Yaira. The street lights that give off yellow, uh, yellowish lights are, uh, they, they contain incandescent bulb. The, the bulb inside is heated to a temperature and then it emits light. Whereas those who, uh, which give uh, blue-white lights are, are normally uh, fluorescent bulbs, like they, they give off light when... No, try again. For a bonus. Yes, go bet. The difference in color comes as a result from the gases that are used in the in the production. From the yellow light, this is because there is a, it is a sodium lamp, and sodium in this flame test it gives a yellow color. Whilst in the blue in the blue white lamps, it gives a, it's a different gas such as mercury that is being used in it. So due to the color when it is in the flame, it is gives a blue white color. So that will result in a difference in color. Yes. Yes. <laughs> A cathode ray tube used in television sets and oscilloscopes works by accelerating electrons to a very high velocity and allowing them to strike a screen. The electrons form a beam from the cathode to the screen. By what means is the motion of the beam controlled? Yes, Rufus. The motion of the, uh, of the cathode ray are controlled by varying the potential difference across the uh, cathode ray oscilloscope. Yes, Percy. And also the, the, the use of uh, the magnetic field, that's the, the, the position of the, of the magnetic field. Two out of three. Two out of three. <laughs> the beam is controlled by the magnetic field in the case of the TV screen and by the electric field in the case of the oscilloscope. Keta, please explain why women with sex-linked diseases are rare. Yes, the lally. The cells linked disease are, has their recessive born on the X chromosome. And for women, they have two X chromosomes. That is, for the disease to be, cells linked disease to be effective, it must be double recessive on them. And it's very difficult for it to be very recessive compared to the male, which, which does not have any recessive gene for the Y chromosome. Hence, it needs to be only present on the X. So the probability of it happening in men is higher compared yes, to that. Yes, it's true. <laughs> What is the advantage in breeding genetically unrelated individuals of the same species as opposed to breeding genetically related individuals? Yes, go bet. Like, this is in order to create something that is known as hybrid vigor. That is, in order to transmit better, like, needed characteristics to the offspring rather than taking in undesired characteristics. That is, enabling them to survive more harsh conditions. Okay, I'll give you the map. Barium tetraoxosulfate 6 has very, very low solubility in water. Will the solubility be enhanced or lowered in dilute solution of barium chloride? Please explain your answer. Yes, Ernest. The solubility is going to be enhanced because there will be common ion effect which you, which you call the barium to, to, be, to, to, to become, to form a complex which will be 
solubility will decrease. This is because uh, the barium sulfate is in equilibrium with the ions, which is B, Ba2 plus and SO4 2 minus. Now, when the uh, uh, BaCl is added, the equilibrium must shift to the, uh, the, uh, the product side, that's the BaSO4, so that the equilibrium will be established again. So, one out of three. For your answer, yeah, yeah. The solubility will be lowered. It will be lowered. And yes, you had the reaction right. You have a barium ions in solution. And this actually is what will cause the common ion effect. The common ion effect so that the presence of the barium ions in solution will prevent further uh, formation of ions of barium in the same solution. All right. St. Augustine's College. A certain stain is easily removed with dilute HCl. Why, should, why shouldn't the stain be removed from a white cotton material by this method? Yes, go bet. This, this is because when the stain is put, when the stain is on the white, we shouldn't use the HCl to, in order for, because the HCl might react to the atmospheric oxygen to form also with one acid. So this also create one acid would would dissociate in, in the would dissociate in the presence of sunlight or ultraviolet light in order to produce the oxygen. And the oxygen that is produced will cause the bleaching of the white material. So it is not advisable to use the H. Try again. For a bonus. Yes, Ernest. The cotton is a polymer. Ernest, if you use the HCL, it's going to hydrolyze it into it monomers and destroy the whole Yes, cotton that's material. true. Yes, cotton is a polymer, it's cellulose. So if you add acid to it, you are going to hydrolyze bonds and that will cause the destruction of the nice cotton fabric. For the next pair of questions, when I get to you, I'll give you two vectors A, B. I'll give you two vectors A, B. What you have to do with the vectors is to find the scalar product. Find the scalar product of two vectors A, B. Keta. Your vectors are A is equal to 3i minus 5j, and B is equal to 7i plus 4j. Yes, Yaira? One. One is right. <laughs> Your vectors, A is 8i minus 7j, and B is 7i plus 8j. Yes, Percy? Zero, Zero is right. Even though cross-pollination has the advantage of promoting variation, many plants do not rely on it alone, but have mechanisms that also allow self-pollination to occur. Why do you think this is so? Yes, Dalali. For cross-pollination to occur, there must be agents such as, the agents must be able to carry the pollen grain from the anther of one flower, flower to the stigma of another. But, but for self-pollination, no agents are required. And for that matter, when the agents are absent, cross-pollination cannot occur. And that means that the, fl the flower cannot produce fruit. So in order to produce fruit, it adopts the self-pollination method to us. Yes. St. Augustine's. Explain what would happen to the stomata of a leaf if a strong solution of sugar is placed on the leaf. Yes, Rufus. When a strong sugar solution is placed on the leaf surface, it's going to increase the osmotic concentration at the standard part of the stomata. And there will be outward flow of water from the stomata. So the, the, the gut cells on the stomata are going to be turgid. Then the stomata is going to open. Closing the stomata. One out of three. <laughs> yes, the part about osmosis was all right. That part was all right, Rufus. But you were confused. Okay? The guard cells will actually lose their turgidity due to the higher osmotic concentration outside and lead to the closure of the stomata, not the opening. It will lead to closure, not opening. Keta. About 500 decimeter cubed of pure water is electrolyzed and the last one centimeter cubed of the water is found to have a density of 1.107 kilogram per decimeter cubed. What could be this residue? Yes, Yaya? The 
the, desi uh, the residue may be uh, dissolved salt and uh, ions here. Yeah. Mm. Try again. Yes, the lali. The, the residue may be impurities that? For a bonus. Yes, Gobert. This may be due to the dead, to the dead particles that, may, re that may, re may remain in the water. No, that's not it. That's not it. The residue actually is heavy water or D2O. D2O, heavy water. Okay? All right. Now your own question, St. Augustine's. What accounts for the higher boiling point of 101.4 degrees Celsius for D2O? Yes, Percy. Uh, it's because of the presence of the, iso of the isotopic hydrogen. That is the, uh, the, deuterium, uh, the deuterium isotope of hydrogen. What does it do? Uh, uh, it has um, a molar mass of uh, it has a molar mass of two, uh, which tends to increase the the, the viral molar mass of the of the of the D2O. Therefore, increase the molar. Yes, it's the higher molar mass. The higher molar mass. That's the end of round two. Government through an act of parliament. Set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, GET Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country, and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there is not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two, three projects going. All the seven public universities, 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid facelifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the second round, the scores are St. Augustine's College, 31 points, Keta Senior High School, 36 points. The contest is closed. We will continue with round three. Round three is our problem of the day. So far, the questions you've had have not required too much time, 30 seconds maximum. The problem of the day is expected to engage you a little bit more, so from the time I ask you to begin, you have three minutes in which to present your answer. The problem of the day is worth 10 points. Let's turn over a sheet and read the problem of the day together. Fill in the blanks in the following passage on the electron transfer system. At several points in one NTCA cycle, Pairs of hydrogen atoms are removed from two and taken up by hydrogen acceptors like three, a four derived from vitamin B complex. The hydrogen acceptors pass on the electrons through a series of electron carriers like the conjugated proteins called five that contain heme. The electron transfer system forms the final stage of six respiration and occurs in the inner seven membranes of eight cells. In all nine, in all nine molecules of ATP are produced from complete oxidation of one molecule of ten. That's our problem of the day. Good luck. You may begin. Act of Parliament set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, GET Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country, and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there is not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two, three projects going. 
All the seven public universities, 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. Please send a representative from your schools to present your solutions on the whiteboards, exactly as they appear here. The contestants have presented their solutions. Before we award the marks, let's look at the ideal solution from our consultants. The passage should read, at several points in glycolysis and TCA cycle, pairs of hydrogen atoms are removed from substrates and taken up by hydrogen acceptors like nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide or NAD a coenzyme derived from vitamin B complex. The hydrogen acceptors pass on the electrons through a series of electron carriers like the conjugated proteins called cytochromes that contain heme. The electron transfer system forms the final stage of aerobic respiration and occurs in the inner mitochondrial membranes of eukaryotic cells. In all, 38 molecules of ATP are produced from complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose. That's the ideal solution from our consultants. Let's see what our contestants did. St. Augustine's College, you had two, three, and eight incorrect, so you are left with seven points. <laughs> Peter Senior High, you had one and two incorrect, and you provided no answer for four, so you also have seven points. <laughs> Let's begin round four. Most questions in this round involve calculations, and so you have 30 seconds in which to provide an answer to a question. Should a question not involve calculations, you have 15 seconds in which to do so. A correctly answered question fetches three points. Let's begin with St. Augustine's College. You have one attempt to answer this. Which of the following is not associated with nitrogen fixation? Your options. A. Lightning. B. Rhizobium. C. Nitroso nitrosomonas. D. Azotobacter. Yes, Rufus. That's incorrect. For a bonus, Keta, yes, the Lali. As you do butter. No, that's also incorrect. The right answer is nitrozomonas. <laughs> it's a nitrifying bacterium which converts nitrites to nitrates. So has nothing to do with that. Your own question, Keta, you have one attempt to answer this as well. Which of the following conditions cannot be corrected by multivitamin tablets? Your options. A, goiter. B, beriberi. C, pelagra. And D, rickets. Yes, Ernest. Goiter. Yes, it's true. <laughs> it's not caused by vitamin defici deficiency but it's a hormone no it's iodine deficiency iodine not vitamin iodine deficiency all right st augustine's college but before we start with you we'll have a preamble to both schools your preamble the equation of a transverse wave is given by y is equal to 25 sine of 2 pi ft where y is a transverse displacement the amplitude is measured in centimeters and time in seconds. The frequency of the wave is 0.5 hertz. 
at what time will the wave have a transverse displacement y which is equal to 25 over root 2 meters yes go bet 90 degrees no time. try again yes uh, go bet it will be at um, um 0.5 seconds one more chance Madam. yes percy be at one over root two seconds no <sighs> for a bonus Yes, uh, Yaira. 0 0.25 seconds. Yes, 0 0.25 seconds. With the same preamble, what face angle is required to ensure that the transverse displacement is 0 when T is 0? That is, Y is equal to 0 when T is equal to 0. Yes, go earnest. 180 degrees. Okay, 180 degrees. St. Augustine's, find the area of the finite region between the curve y is equal to 6x minus x squared and the x-axis. Percy. Man, science. <laughs> Go ahead. 36. 36 is right. Keta. <laughs> Find the area of the finite region between the curve y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x and the x-axis. Here's the lolly. Four. Four is right. <laughs> Two electrolytic cells, one containing molten magnesium chloride and the other molten chromium, chromium 7 chloride are connected in series and a certain amount of current pass through the cells. If at the end of the period 0 0.9 grams of magnesium are formed, how many grams of the chromium are formed in the second cell? Atomic mass of magnesium is 24, that for chromium is 52. Uh, and it's chromium 3 chloride. Chromium 3 chloride. No. Yes, Rufus. 0 0.25 grams. No, one more chance. Yes, Percy. No. For a bonus. Yes, Delali. 11.7 grams. No, no. The right answer is 1.3 grams. 1.3 grams. Your own question. Two electrolytic cells, one containing molten manganese, 4 oxide, and the other aluminum oxide are connected in series and a certain amount of current pass through the cells. Calculate the mass of manganese formed at the time four grams of aluminum have formed. Give your answer to one place of decimal and take atomic mass of aluminum to be 27 and that for manganese to be 55. Here's the lolly. 6.1 grams. That's correct. <laughs> Distinguish between epiphysis and epistasis. Yes, Percy. Uh, uh, epiph epiphysis is the region of uh, the region between the, di the diaphysis and the, the diaphysis of, of a bone. That is between the ends of a, of a long bone. Whereas epistasis is where, uh, a, 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 whereas epistasis is where a gene is suppressed. Uh, whereas the epistasis is, the, is where the expression of a, of a, of a particular gene is, is suppressed by the presence of a, of a dominant one. I'll give you two out of three. The epiphyses are the ends of the mammalian long bones, not the region in between. It's the ends of, of the long bones, okay? Whereas epistasis is a phenomenon whereby the presence of a gene suppresses the effect of another non allele gene. Okay, Keta. Distinguish between Malphigian layer and Malphigian corpuscle. Yes, Ernest. Malphigian layer is the third layer of the skin where these cells divide to, to, to give rise to more cells of the epidermis of the skin. While the Malphigian corpuscle is the is a, is part of the nephron where the ultra filtration occurs. It of and it consists of the glomerulus and the. Yes. Wind generated 
generator produces an average of 600 watts when the wind is good. For how many minutes must the generator run in good wind to produce 2 kil kilowatt hour of energy? Yes, go bet. 1.3 hours. One more chance. I'll give you one. One out of three. And in fact, I'm being generous. I am being extremely generous in giving you one point. 3.33 hours is correct, but I did not ask you for anything in hours. I asked you for how many minutes. It was right there. So the right number of minutes is 200 minutes or 199.8 minutes. A 12 volt battery is to be used to store the electrical energy produced from a solar array. If 4.2 kilowatt hour of energy is to be extracted from the battery in 20 hours, what is the average current that will be delivered by the battery? Yaira? Yeah, 35 over 2 amperes. Yes. St. Augustine's. A pair of fair dice is thrown. Find the probability that the sum of the scores is six, given that both scores are odd numbers. Yes, uh, Rufus. One over nine. Try again. Yes, Percy. One over twelve. One more chance. <laughs> Percy. <laughs> Rufus. Bonus. Yes, the Lali. One over nine. One over nine. No. The right answer is one third. A pair of fair dice is thrown. Find the find the probability that the sum of the scores is 10, given that both scores are even numbers. Yes, Ernest. One over nine. Try again. Yes, Delali. One over 18. No, try again. Yes, Yaya. One over three. No. For a bonus. Yes, go bet. One over four. No. The right answer is 2 over 9. For this pair of questions, you just need to check the dice individually to see what is possible. Okay? So for the second one, you need even numbers adding up to 10. What are the possibilities? First, you get 4, then you get 6. Or you get 6, then you get 4. So those are the possibilities, right? Then the sample space. The sample space actually you have two and two two and four two and six four and two four and four all those you have to keep track of them you find out that there are nine of them the sample space there are nine of them and so it's two out of nine you do a similar thing for the previous question okay yes yeah, so you just needed to count that's the end of the fourth round government through an act of parliament set up the ghana education trust fund Get Fund to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there is not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two three projects going. All the seven public universities 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid facelifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the fourth round, St. Augustine's College has 44 points, Keta Senior High School has 62 points. We are at the top of our final round. Do not underestimate our final round. 
Round five comes to you in two parts. For the first part, I'm going to be giving the school statements. When you get your statement, please consider it carefully and tell me whether the statement is true or false. If you answer correctly, you get two points. If your answer is incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to answer, in which case the statement is passed on to your opponent for a potential two full points. Good luck. Let's begin the first part of the round with Keta, your statement. The number of subsets of a set with n elements is n squared. Yes, the lali. It's false. It's false. During metamorphosis of a tadpole, the hind limbs develop before the fore limbs. Yes, Rufus. False. No, Rufus. Atomic masses of elements are given relative to the mass of carbon-12 atom. Yes, the lali. It's false. It's false. Radioactive decay is a random event. Yes, Rufus. It's true. Yes, it's true. It takes about five weeks for lizard eggs to hatch. Yes, the lali. It's false. Yes, it's false. Avogadro's constant, which is the number of carbon atoms in 12.00 grams of carbon-12, is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Rufus? It's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Aluminium hydroxide will dissolve in dilute aqueous ammonia. Yes, the lali. It's false. Yes, it's false. <laughs> When a projectile is launched at an angle to the vertical, the acceleration due to gravity vanishes at the maximum height when the projectile has a vertical velocity of zero. Rufus? It's true. No. That's because acceleration due to gravity remains in place throughout the whole motion. An equiangular octagon is regular. Yes, the lali. It's false. Yes, it's false. secondary thickening of trees. More secondary phloem is formed than secondary xylem. Yes, Rufus. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Wood is made up of secondary xylem. It's yes, true. the lali. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, St. Augustine's. Zinc hydroxide dissolves in both sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide solutions to give the same product. Rufus? It's false. It's false. <laughs> An object traveling in outer space far away from any planet or star will possess zero momentum. The lali? It's false. Yes, it's false. <laughs> because that's because all objects that have mass will have momentum even massless photons still have momentum all right last statement any two squares are similar yes rufus it's true. yes it's true all right we are done with the first part of round five and so we'll proceed to the second part of the round i'm going to ask you to solve some riddles i will provide you with clues and you try to ask to solve the riddle in order to solve a riddle you have to alert me you do so by ringing your bell may i hear your bell kata senior high Thank you. And yours, St. Augustine's. Thank you very much. When you ring the bell, it means you are ready to solve the riddle. I will not wait for a response. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the, on the third or any clue after that, three points. Let's begin with the first of the riddles. 
I am a silvery white metal with melting point of 1,453 degrees Celsius. My favorite valencies are 0, 1, 2, and 3. I am found as a constituent in most meteorites. My presence is one of the criteria for distinguishing a meteorite from other minerals or rocks. With an atomic number of 28, I surely belong. Yes, go ahead. Nickel. Ah. Go ahead. Nickel. Nickel is right. <laughs> they solved it on the fifth clue. Three points. Next riddle. I am a class of physical quantities. I differ from other classes for which you need to know where their members are headed. Go ahead. Scalar quantities. Yes, scalar quantities. I saw that radio on the second clue. Four points. Four points. I am a group of parasitic protozoans. My members have a complex life cycle involving alternation of sexual hurang. Yes, go ahead. AP complexa. AP complexa. <laughs> they solved that riddle on the second clue, four points. Actually, the final riddle, final riddle. I am associated with binary operations. I may be a number or a set. For sets, yes, go ahead. Identity. Identity is right. <laughs> they solved it on the second clue, second clue, four points. That's the end of the fifth round. Through an act of parliament, Set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavoured for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country, and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there is not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two, three projects going. All the seven public universities, 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid facelifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the contest, the final scores are St. Augustine's College, 61 points, Keta Senior High School, 86 points. St. Augustine's College, unfortunately, this is the end of the road for you. Thank you for giving us a good contest. Keta Senior High School, Congratulations on winning this one. That was an amazing performance. Continue with your preparations. I shall look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. Congrats. Viewers, we've had an amazing contest. This has been a very good one. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to our reigning champions. Anyway, next time we plan to bring you the third of our quarter-finals. That is going to be between Infantsipim School and Wesley Girls High School. Please make it a point to join us for this contest from Cape Coast. Thank you. See you next time.
High School.